Tomcat is the most commonly used Java HTTP web server. A Tomcat server can serve multiple web applications, which themselves may implement different servlets or web pages. When a client, such as a browser, wants to access something on the server, it will send an HTTP request. The Tomcat server will pass the URL of the request to find out which application it needs to forward the request to. The application will then either forward the request to a servlet or, or directly serve the requested page. Tomcat will generate an HTTP response with the results. We can use XAMPP to start a Tomcat server. Once it's running, it can be accessed in the browser by default on port 8080. At the root of the server, we find the Tomcat status page, which contains links to the documentation and to different management pages. If we want to look at one of those pages, we see that a login is required. User access to the management pages are defined in Tomcat configuration files. You can access those configuration files from XAMPP. The first interesting configuration file is the tomcatusers.xml file. This is where we can define roles and users on the server. To access the manager parts of the main Tomcat interface, we need to have a user with the manager GUI role. Here, we have defined a default Tomcat user with different admin roles. Using those credentials, we can connect to the manager pages. Here, we can have information on the status of the server. We can also get a list of the applications running on the server and manage them. The most important configuration file is server.xml. The root element of the server.xml file is the server, which has a specific port on which it listens to shut down commands. In the global naming resources element, we can see a reference to the tomcat users.xml file, which we have already seen. The service element is where we define the connectors. Connectors are the entry point of the server. Here we can see a connector on port 8080, which is the main HTTP entry point, as well as a connector on port 8443 for secured HTTPS communications, which we will talk about more later in the security videos. In the Catalina folder, we can also find configuration files which contain information about different web apps that need to be deployed on the server. These files create a one-to-one -one correspondence between a pass and a compiled Java web application. When we compile a web project with NetBeans, it creates a WAR file which contains the Java binaries for the web application. From the configuration file, Tomcat can guess, get this WAR file and run the code that it contains to respond to the corresponding HTTP requests.